Hey, this is Mike Renoir, Northwest Fight Scene, NWFightScene.com. I'm here with uh, Paul DeViglio. Hopefully I didn't butcher that. <laughs> um, you're fighting uh, in a week, uh, June 16th, Rumble the Ridge 24, it's still calling Casino, and you're fighting against uh, Josh Gow at 145 pounds. Uh, amateur fight. Uh, how are you feeling? Uh, good. You know, I'm coming off a little layoff. I had a year break, and honestly, I'm just that excited to get back and fight, man. It's been too long. You really don't realize how much you miss it until you're away from what you love. So I'm just excited to get in there and get after it. Right on. Right on. Now, why did you take the break? Uh, injuries. Injuries. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, you, you had surgery or just kind of lay off the, the body there? Uh, surgery and all that fun stuff. Oh, so boy. yeah, it was a nice little, I won't get into complete details. Sure. But, uh, yeah, it was a fun little break, but uh, like I said, I, I just, it re-motivated me, you know? You start to, you do something for a while and I think you kind of forget how much you love it and how important it is until it's taken away. Right, right. Now, uh, you're here at Combat Sport and Fitness, uh, Jeff Hoagland, Jim, uh, UFC fighter, uh, Enum Claw Washington. Uh, talk about the training here and the guys that you're working with. Uh, what can I say? Everyone works really hard and honestly the reason that is is because of Jeff, you know? I mean. It, it's hard not to want to come in and work hard every day when you have a coach that leads by such example, you know, like, he, he's just, he puts in time, he puts in work, you know, and uh, he really, he just, he's a hard worker and it rubs off on you and everyone here. Right, right. Now, uh, you're fighting this guy, Josh Gow, and he's also, uh, you know, from Spokane. He's from a tough camp over there, Sick Jitsu. I know he works with a lot of those tough Spokane guys. What do you know about him? Uh, I know that he's on a 4-0 streak. And he's finished three of his last fights by guillotine, and the last fight he won by armbar. So I know I gotta watch out for guillotine and uh, <laughs> make sure that I'm not falling asleep when I'm in his guard. Right. Okay. Now, uh, what got you into the sport? Uh, you know, I've always really liked it, and uh, I just kind of, honestly, a little bit of luck is um, always said. You know, made excuses, been like, oh, if there's ever something local, I'll uh, I'll come in and do it, and then. Jeff came into town and actually, kind of funny story, what really originally got me into this is my girlfriend at the time uh, bought me a month membership for my birthday. And that's what finally kind of pushed me to go. So I still, I don't have a girlfriend, but I have this, so I consider it fair trade. <laughs> <laughs> fair enough. <laughs> now, uh, what was your uh, record before this fight? 5-0. Uh, 5-0. Oh. Oh. Okay, so you're, you're looking to keep it undefeated? Yes, that's, uh, I, have, I have some personal goals, and one of my personal goals is to remain undefeated as an amateur, and uh, I think you're carrying that on. Okay, okay. Now, uh, you know, uh, here at Snoqualmie Casino, is this your first time to fight out there? Oh, no, this will be my third. Third time? Okay, so yeah. you fought out that stage before. What's it like fighting in the casino? Uh, it's awesome, man. What can I say? I mean, it really is, you know, it's, it's no wonder why it's one, you know, best pl better place to go watch fights two years running, you know, it's awesome. <laughs> Good environment, really cool stuff, and uh, great show. Okay, now uh, are you working, uh, you know, obviously, are, are you training full time? What's, uh, do, you, or do you have a job, what do you? I have a eight to five job, and gonna enjoy that, and then come and train here every day. It makes for, for a long day. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and uh, mix that up. What, what kind of work do you do? I do uh, cabinetry. Okay. So, yeah, construction stuff. Okay. okay. Something I'm trying to not do anymore. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, do you have goals in terms of uh, turn, turning pro, or are you that kind of up to your coach? or? I mean, it's up to my coach, but I always set personal goals. You know, I, I, I would like to, you know, uh, by the end of 2013 or sometime in 2013, I would really like to turn pro. Mm -hmm. I mean, in, in the end, it's all up to Jeff, but that's my personal goal, and that's what I'm trying to do is prove to him by that point that I'm ready. All right. All right. Well, hey, we look forward to seeing you in there uh, against Josh Gao and so Paul DeViglio. Do you have a nickname? I do. My nickname is Nutshot. Nutshot. <laughs> now, how did that come about? Uh, well, actually, Jeff Bourgeois, uh, when I first started training here, he was holding pads for me. And uh, he, we switched the combo from 1-2 uh, high kick to 1-2 low, or from 1-2 low kick to 1-2 high kick. And uh, I went with the low kick, and he held the pads up, and being left-handed, I kind of blast him right in the nuts. <laughs> and uh, at first it didn't stick, but then since, I don't know if you know, but Jeff runs the Revolution. It's a great grappling tournament that's local. And uh, he would put 
nutshot on the brackets, and after that, the name just kind of stuck. <laughs> right, right. Well, excellent. Now, uh, anyone to thank for this uh, fight coming up? Uh, you know, I guess I'd have to thank uh, my grandma because she just passed away, and she lives in New York, and she never got the opportunity to see me fight, so just, yeah, I would like to, you know, win for her, and, uh, you know, it's sad that she never got to see me fight. Well, I, I appreciate your time again, Paul. I uh, look forward to seeing you in Northwest Facing and Paul DeViglio. Thank you, sir. Thank you.